kind of jail hip hop associated. Okay. The boy Tory, bro. Oh man. The they they're looking to give him because the sentencing is is coming up. Okay. Yeah. As far as like a Tory Lanez update for the people, like yeah. Um, he had tried to get a um a new trial. They denied yeah. him a new trial. That was a while back. That was the last time we spoke about him, right? But now the news is that the judge is looking to give him 13 years. Okay. He was face he's facing up to 22 years. 22. Yes. So if he gets 13, yeah. He might be back home probably in like seven, maybe nine, yeah. because like you're looking at two thirds. Yeah. Right. He's like Nelson Mandela kind of vibe. Like. <laughs> no. oh. he's, a, he's, a he's a political hero. I know, he's a I know but it's like, political you know, prisoner. <laughs> yeah. Like he's going to have to turn into one brother because, yo, you're, this is a fight, man. Man, do worse and, and get less time. Well, let's be real, man. 13 years now. Do you think he's going to get the 13? No. You think the judge is going to hit him with the full 22? He'll get the 13 and then they'll, like, they'll lower it to like five. <laughs> you know? Well, that's the thing. Like You have to lower it like after. Like, uh, well, you'd have to appeal after. You can't just lower it. How long the, has he been in there already? Well, technically since New Year. Yeah. Right, like he hasn't. He, it's not like he's been inside this whole time fighting the case. Yeah. He, so he was you know, out. like certain man's like, oh, YFN Lucci. Yeah. They've been sitting doing time for like the last two, three years. Yeah. Even so whatever they're saying, Melly, YNW Melly. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you know, if their sentence turns out for the for the good or whatever, they get a sentence. Yeah. That it's like here's ten years. Yeah. They already have time served, even if it's even two, um, two for one, like we used to have over here. Yeah. Boom. Now, like they might come home in like two. But Tori's been gone for like five months, bro. What I are we know. in June right now? Six months. <laughs> it feels like a long time though. Cause it's like, normally you see him dropping music. He's out there. He's active, you know? And he's not a jail type nigga, bro. Like sure, for him, yeah, six I months know. is a lifetime right now, bro. He should have ran back to Canada when he had his chance. You think so? <laughs> should have came him. back, eh? Yeah, we would have hit him. We would have made sure he was good. Yeah. Come on, dog. That's crazy, fam. So, Here's the thing. The judge might not be that lenient on him, fam. And I'll tell you why. Why? He's been talking a lot about the judge during the whole time, fam. I know, but it's like he's trying to show the people like what's going on. I know, but bro, like you gotta be easy, easy. on the judge, bro. I know, you gotta be quiet. That's you the guy who quiet. has <laughs> your hand his life in his hands, <laughs> hands bro. I know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he's like, this guy thinks he could talk about me like this online. <sighs> it's on like Donkey Kong. Yeah, bro. So I'm I'm really <laughs> hoping that it works out for him because I know. I'm praying. The judge they'll, they'll just make an example of you just because you try to just go online too much and talk too much shit, shit. about me, bro. I know. I know. You know what I'm and saying? and they're gonna make the example for the out of this black man, Canadian black man, might I add. Mm -hmm. Because they're gonna show us like, yo, you guys, you little cakers, you guys come down here with your Canuck stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah, eh? We're gonna shake you down. We're gonna show you guys we're the real Yankees. Here's the one good thing on it, though. Yeah, if the judge hits him with his 13 years, right? Mm -hmm. Now he can go appeal. Now he can go appeal, right? Yeah. Now it's okay. The gavel's yeah. down. Now well, we can go say let's let's appeal this. And mm. if this the appeal process take let's say mm. six months, yeah. And then they say, you know what? Yeah, bring him home. That this is this is you know a bad trial, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Then he's home. Then he's home. You know what I'm saying? And he just stays here and goes to Europe and does his thing and never go back to America. They'll still buy your music in America. Trust me. Well, listen, this has happened. Yep. This is the you just opened up a good conversation here. <laughs> Give me some examples. Yeah. Of artists, like hip hop artists, obviously, yeah. that have been dipped and still remain successful. Big salute to our sponsors, Diamond Club Delivery. They got delivery all over the GTA and a crazy selection of flowers, tinctures, edibles, and everything that you need. You can also check them out on the 7 Days of Weed website, s7daw.com. Or you can check them out on their Instagram, Diamond Club underscore 905. Because I haven't seen it. Shine got dipped. Oh. Slick Rick got dipped. Slick, Slick Rick is still good. Yeah, Slick Rick is still good. Still, um, he came back, but he came back though. Like he got to come back to America. Can uh, Buju? Can Buju go back to America? 
I don't know. I don't think so. And Butch is still okay. And he's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Shine, he's good in the way where like man's in politics and stuff like that. Yeah. But the music game, like no, he had to he had to that, dip out. Like remember he done. came back and he was an yeah. Hasidic Jew for a second. <laughs> I was like, wow, this like, guy's crazy. <laughs> yeah, he 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 went through all these different changes, fam. And like yeah. even the music didn't slap the same, bro. Like his no. bars weren't landing the way what used to, like No. You know what I'm saying? Like no. It's hard to like to be that think. rapper who's dipped and still successful in the United States, bro. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Like really think like who really got dipped and like really got to come back? Like when Slick Rick, when it happened to Slick Rick, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got dipped after, and for the people who don't know the, the Slick Rick story, he he got um arrested or convicted for shooting his cousin. Yeah. Okay, who he thought was robbing him. Robbing or, him. you know, I think he found out was robbing him. Of so like a lot. Yeah, so he shot his cousin mm -hmm. and he went up, end up going to jail, jail for, it. for it. And this is like back in like the early 90s, late yeah. 80s, right? What was it, like attempted murder or something? Something like that. Yeah. Right? And he ended up dip, getting dipped to um, England because he's yeah. originally from England. England, yes. Right? Yes. Just like he 21. was gone for like a long time, right? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, like, like 21, 21, 21, right? He was gone for a long time, like until came back with outcasts yes but this is like 97 90, 98 no 2000 two, straight 2000 straight yeah like 2000 something <laughs> like, probably like one now keep in mind yeah okay how long he was gone before that bro like well we knew about him since the 80s yeah but he wasn't able to put out any music in the united states all that whole time but had, bro but he had hits already so it was just like yeah he had he children's had, story right? yeah bro and then and then when he came back with uh outcast mm. that was a rap with that one single and then after that was it the art of storytelling is 1999 right that's when he came back with right? um that's when he was able to come back into the States. You started mm. seeing him do music videos with Outkast and a whole bunch of people. Yeah, bro. You know what I'm saying? And and um, he was back, right? Yeah. Where, where's the tune? Let me run this tune here. I remember this tune. Yeah, so, so Slick Rick was able to come back. Yes, sir. But he had to take a, like, almost 10-year hiatus. Well, you know what I'm saying? It was his probation or something or his parole? Like, his parole yeah. wasn't allowing him to come to the States. No, not you know at what all. I'm saying? So when he was able to come back to the States... Boom, he dropped his album. Now he's a legacy artist. Yeah, so like sure. everything is, is good. You know anything, what I'm saying? Anything he dropped before that was classic. Yeah. Now it's classical, it's classic now. Yeah. Hip hop, right? But like there's far and few in between of guys who get dipped as, and to Canada, that's not happened yet. This is gonna be a first. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because no matter what, even if You're you right. know, when he comes home right. and they give him, let's say, five years, soft thing, right? Yeah, yeah. Even yeah. though it's not, but they give him five years, let's say. Yeah. He still has to get dipped. Well, yo, in Canada, he could still make a living. <laughs> let's be real. And he's already rich. Bro. And bro, there's streaming still. There's like That's true. You know what I mean? Like he's good, man. He goes to Europe. He's good. Don't let him 52 in. 52 states, though, bro. Uh, oh, man. It's not to say he was loved in all 52 states. Let's be real. Yeah, but still, fam. Like, you know what I mean? He had a fan. He has a huge American fan yes, base, he does. bro. Yes, he does. But he has a big fan base here. Mm -hmm. And he has a big fan base in Europe. Let's be real. You're going to have to beat the shit out that Europe scene, bro. Man, right? going to move to bro, France or something, bro. he can go to Africa bro. and he'll boom. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, that that's what he's gonna have to do. Getting his Afro beats yeah, back heavy, bro. right? And be like, "Yo, fam, they love me in Africa, bro. Right? I, haven't, I haven't seen an American dollar in time, bro. <laughs> that will still be American money. Yeah, and yeah. That's how they'll pay him. Listen, man. You know what I mean? Hold your head to Tory Lanez. No, he's. It's like hold your head, brother. We're we're going into July, and like I said in like in the beginning, like this this man's not a. A jail man, you know what I I'm saying? Know. Like, yo, that's six months to do it on my pinky. Like, nah, fam. Like, I don't the, think this is the longest he's probably ever been in jail. The withdrawal for him is probably like, what? Yo. Shaking it, right? Because you're shaking know, what? Every day you're every day you're smoking, drinking, and now you're not doing the same thing. Come on, bro. What are you talking about, bro? You don't think? Listen, he got money. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As long as he lets his money. Keep him protected. Okay. 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 Man can get drink. Man can get smoke. Smoke. True. Okay. 
and he could get his cheek. It's different. It's not like he's gonna be able to just chief it down and yeah. take. Yeah. But like he'll he's good. He'll 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 You're be, right. You know You're what I'm right. saying? If You're a right. nigga, if Friday Ricky Dread without no friggin' <laughs> pre-podcast, just some regular street nigga <laughs> was able to be burning bogey every day and smoking yeah. weed every day on, in yeah. the Don jail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tory Lane's the millionaire. You can get like, a one, two um, bogey that he can roll up because he's going to have to roll up. Bogey. He might even be able to get a full, a TM, what do they call it? Yeah. Like a, a trademark, a cigarette, like an actual cigarette. A bogey. A bogey, you a know what I'm saying? A bogey. <laughs> just smoking on range, stressed, bro. You know what I'm saying? Bogey Guardy's smoke. just letting him do it. And just be like, yo, let him do it. Yeah, yo, You're fam, right. just somebody sing, cash out this nigga $1,000. Yeah, he let me, me a, smoke. Send me a tune later. Yeah. <laughs> Money will take you a long, long way, way, fam. Of course. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Um, couple more stories here. You know what? We love hip hop.